Okay, so I want to be private. I think earlier, earlier, I, I don't know if it was during this conversation or not. So excuse me, because we, you my guy, we talk. But so earlier, you you made reference to um, being private, not being a part of the United States. I became so my I, so I became a a person, a resident, or. I'm a part of the United States based off being born here via having a social security card and a birth certificate. Wrong. Wrong. You were born on the land of America, the okay. continent of America. But that automatically that automatically should constitute me as an, an American. American. That's it. Right. That's it. Of the land. Because if you go look Deep, like I said, definitions and legal definitions. Let me say that. I have a Black's Law Dictionary, 4th edition, 1968. And that, that is what they consider common law, the common law dictionary, legal dictionary, that a lot of uh, case law was made and, and, and brought out of. So that just in case you want to reference anything that I'm saying, you can go look there. What does the word land mean? In the Black's Law Dictionary, in the most general sense, comprehends uh, any, gra any ground, soil, or earth whatsoever as fields, meadows, pastures, woods, moors. Moors. Let me say it more, one more time. Moors. Now, why is that in the legal dictionary as part land. So if you're considered a moor, in the legal dictionary, you're considered land. Mm. So if you are part of the land, didn't God say in the Bible, you have dominion over the lands? Everything? I digress. So how in the world did you get a title and, and, and mortgages over this land? And I'm from it. But if you don't raise the issue, there is none. And a lot of yeah. our people, what I see is this information is scary. This information is unheard of. This information <laughs> is something that for the most most people, you 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 really you just don't believe it because you've never heard it before. So what's the benefits of me now saying, okay, I want to be private or a private, is it a private citizenship? Or is it just a private? Like, how do you? How do? How? Well, let's, I hate to. I hate to do this because I almost feel like another community, which I digress. But how do I? So how do I address you? <laughs> well, okay, I'm. I'm pretty sure a lot of people, especially out here in, in the community and, and on Facebook, and you've heard about what they call sovereign citizens, right? Right. right. Well, that's like calling someone out their name, a derogatory term. Um, and we have to start understanding that there are powers to be that want to uh, throw shade, if you if you allow me, on things that are actually uh, credible and actually right. Uh, you're sovereign from birth. Mm -hmm. That's something. That's a God given. That's something that that's the first covenant. That's the first covenant. Where you have all rights above everything else because. I'm going to say it the way I like to say it. God chose you to walk this earth. Right. So therefore, no man should be a, between you and that. But we have allowed education, society, uh, people who, uh, you know, got a suit and tie on and play the part the best way to feel like they have authority over us. Mm -hmm. And in and, and all actuality, being private is taking back your authority. Mm -hmm. Being private is saying that I can stand on my own two feet and I can handle my affairs if you leave me alone. Mm -hmm. But there are certain steps. There's a lot of steps, honestly. It's not even easy. This this stuff is not something that you can do in a weekend warrior. It's not none of that. This mm -hmm. is a this is actually reshaping your life and in 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 how it should have been, and how you should have been thinking of life. Your family should be your business. I, I agree. 
<laughs> your family should be your business. I was just I was having a discussion the other day, and I was like, listen, I hustle for my last name. Like that's it. You know what I'm saying? Like I build these businesses because I want to leave a legacy. I want my children to have something. If they decide that this is the path they want to go on, you know what I'm saying? I've been there and done that, and I can express, I can share my knowledge with you on. Now, so see, I'm with you with that. Yeah, that's good because there are certain parameters, certain things that need to be in place in order for your dream to continually go on. Facts. And now those processes I do, uh, I have available for people who want to uh, to try to dive in, who want to dive in to securing a legacy for their they, they family. Mm -hmm. I also have processes to where you have to deal with the Social Security Administration. I have processes where you have to deal with the judicial system downtown. Mm -hmm. um, we have to understand who's in control. And this is not adversarial, anything of that nature. I'm not uh, someone who's trying to bring down the government, none of that. I'm not trying to do any of those things. What I'm trying, what I want to do, and what I'm, I'm, I'm invested in doing is waking up my people Facts. so that we're not continually left behind because our ancestors left us milk and honey. Right. But we don't know that our ancestors left us an estate that we're supposed to go back and get. But mm -hmm. we allow probate to get involved because we don't know the specifics on how to keep the public servants out of our business. Facts. Now, how do you do that? Those is in maybe later on more sessions that I might come come through and visit with you, Facts. and we can <laughs> we can get these things accomplished. But we have to start saying and, and and come to a realization that there's more to know than what I think I know. Facts. Because I don't know everything I think I know. Facts. Big facts. Big facts. 